myself I was shaking worse and worse because he had turned and he was looking right at me and I just wasn't comfortable enough with the shot to take him when he was looking straight at me so after he looked around for a minute then he turned and started walking again <clears throat> and I had a hard time getting him to stop so actually Dustin stopped him for me and he stopped really pretty well broadside but I had tensed up quite a bit and I had been holding that draw for a while and I shot back on him because I was I was tense and I kind of pulled my pulled after I released so I shot him back a little bit, and he's just over here, and he's not feeling really good. He's pretty much back, but it was not my best shot. Give him all time, aren't we? What's that? We'll give him all time. Yeah, so we're going to give him probably uh, a, couple, a couple of hours just where he can bed down, try not to push him around or anything, and hopefully he'll just go down. That was the one thing I prayed about last night. I was like, if I do it, dear, I hope I make a clean kill, and I don't like to see that, but... Um, he, he is shot and he's hurting on work. He's not too far. He's probably maybe 100, 110 yards. And he's, and he's just standing. So uh, hopefully he bed down and just lays down and hopefully it's a good enough shot that he dies fairly quickly. So but, uh, we got one deer hit, a little buck. So. Oh, I'm shaking like a leaf, man. slow because we don't want to bump this buck any farther. I'm gonna head out of here, let him rest. Hopefully hopefully he's already down and dead, but we'll come back later this afternoon. We're gonna go check some trail cameras. We got some other things that we want to get done today, so we'll be back here in a little bit in the afternoon. So we just got back out here. It's not quite noon. It's probably 11, 11 o'clock or so. And uh, we're gonna head out and try to find my arrow first and then 
Um, we know where he had originally bedded down, so I'm sure that we're going to find some blood. Um, and hopefully he's not too far away from that original bedding site. But I'm going to go ahead and knock an arrow and get ready just in case he does stand up and give a, a shot. But uh, hopefully, like I said, he's laying down. We're going to go try to retrieve this deer. Hopefully he's down and dead. So we're going to head out right now. All right, so right around in here should be... Right there it is, Wyatt. Behind you. So you can see we got hair and blood, blood on the fletchings. So she went all the way through. And those, hopefully those rages did their job and got enough. Like I said, it wasn't a real good shot, but you can see that those guys spread out pretty good when they hit really give you a lot of cutting diameter so hopefully that did enough somewhere in this area. Start going this way and I'll Well we we've walked all out in here and he is right there. There I mean you can see there's hardly any blood here at all. Um so there wasn't a blood trail to find, so I was I was a little bit upset, I'm not gonna lie. I was your bow. Pretty frustrated. I was upset. Here's your quiver. I thought that we had <laughs> lost him. He must have got back up and walked back across yeah I, when we when we last saw him he was walking this way and we had thought that he had maybe followed this little um, bottom right here and bedded up a couple times but he must uh went that way and then circled right back and he, he well, ran right let's there. look at him oh, man. Yeah. got him yeah you can see I'm I'm about a foot back from where I would like to be. Hey, So. how does it feel? Oh man, it, it, I tell you what, it makes me feel a ton better knowing that we found him. Um, we get to put some meat in the freezer for the winter and throughout the year, so that is that is awesome. Looks Hold like him he's up. a two, four, five, six, seven, he's a four by three little basket rack. Not a big deer, but that is my first bow kill. Um, First shot at a deer with a bow ever. First, yep, first shot at a deer. I can't think Dustin Speck enough. He has had me out here, or he's had me out shooting a bow now for a couple months and really helped me to kind of tune in. And I got 
definitely a lot of people to thank. I, last year was the first deer that I've ever shot. Um, I went 10 years before I shot my first deer and finally got my first one with a shotgun last year. Thanks to uh, Garrett Grip and Josh Wolf and Rick Wolf. And then uh, I got my first turkey last spring. Thanks to uh, Josh Wolf and now thanks to thanks to Dustin, I got my first deer with a with a bow, and I I couldn't be any happier. Um, you know, these guys spoiled me. I, I told him walking out today this morning that uh, I'm gonna be bummed because sometime they're gonna have to stop holding my hand. But they've been really spoiling me these last two years. I just got home, you know, May of 2012, and already got my first deer with the shotgun, first deer with a bow, and first turkey. So. This is awesome. I can't, I can't thank you guys enough.